Welcome to day 100 of the Seeker's Guide to Soul Contact. The theme for today is the seventh sense. So you thought there were just five senses here on the material plane, but then you were presented with a sixth one, which is balance. When you thought about it, it didn't see, indeed, seem to qualify for a sense. You probably did not expect another sense to be presented, but should not be surprised as all creation manifests in sevens. The seventh sense is timing and is related to the brain, which is linked to the mind and heart. A sense of timing manifests in many different places in our lives. This good sense often separates the nerds from the popular ones in school. The nerd may have developed that part of his brain that allows him to get good grades, but he may lack a sense of timing uh, that the popular kid has, and this popular kid is maybe just getting C's. Timing isn't the same as what is commonly called emotionally intelligence, but is enhanced by it. The guy with good timing gets the girl because he initiates a series of events that work in his favor. The guy with bad timing approaches at the wrong time, says the wrong thing, and reacts in a way that makes others cringe. We see that a sense of vision is different for each individual. Some require glasses and others do not. Of those who require glasses, Many different prescriptions are needed. A sense of timing is like that. Some have a good sense for it, and others need timing glasses to make up for a deficiency in that sense. Let us say you are at a party and you observe a group of six people having a conversation about football. Four of them are really into the game and their conversation seems to fit in. The fifth guy doesn't follow the game much, but has a good sense of timing, so he just nods his head and asks a few questions at the appropriate time. Now, the sixth guy doesn't follow the game, but has a bad sense of timing. Out of the blue, he wants to talk about the latest technology. Now, this may have been entirely appropriate with another group in another time, but in this case, the rest look at him as an odd, unwanted character, while the expression on their faces says, where did this guy come from? The sense of timing manifests in many areas of our lives. When you were a kid, you learn uh, the time uh, at just the right moment to ask a favor of your parents, or maybe the right moment to cry and throw a fit to get what you wanted. During the teenage years, most concentrate on good timing in relationships and seeking popularity. Later, when seeking employment, you use a sense of timing to select your career, and in your work, you use good timing to get ahead and fit in. Timing is related to cycles. There are cycles where the door of opportunity is open and others where it is closed. The one with a good sense of timing has a natural grasp of numerous cycles in life and instinctively knows when the opportunity is there and when it is not. The question that now arises is what is the higher correspondence of this sense and how does it manifest through the soul? The assignment today is to contemplate this question along with this affirmation. I see the cycles of opportunity through the eyes of the soul. Interesting things to think about. And if you missed any of the classes, uh, we have them all recorded here, or you can check them out at our website at freeread.com.